It's your girl Samantha, aka Lovely Simbo's Life, and I'm back with another video. Okay, before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. 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 Okay. Uh, if you are new here, thank you for joining me, and I hope you are here to stay. If you are returning, thank you for returning. And I just appreciate all of you. You know, you are the reason that my channel is growing. And I won't forget about you when I get big, okay? I won't forget about you. I promise you that. It does not go unnoticed. As you see by the title, I'm about to take myself to a very, very colorful time in my past. If you didn't know, yes, I used to be a stripper. I am not ashamed of it. I'm not, it's not a secret. I actually have a story time on how I became a stripper. I'll drop that link down below in the description box so you can check that out. But yes, when I tell you I had to dig, like I had to dig, like <laughs> I had to dig. I was digging a grave trying to find these pictures because I guess, if, you know, since I had my kid, like I put like all those kind of pictures, like, deep down <laughs> deep deep down like i literally went through like a big like box just pictures and they were like at the bottom so they surfaced they have surfaced and they have now surfaced to my youtube channel okay this should be interesting you know i, I this is just a, a time in my life that i lived it i experienced it and uh yeah let me quit stalling and let's just get into this video guys okay before i show these pictures i want to make it be known that i am not condoning uh for any young ladies to become strippers i'm just gonna say it like that i'm i i, I do not condone that okay this is just my story and me reflecting and entertaining and being able to look back and laugh at you know my past and um no i don't condone young ladies thinking that these pictures are some kind of motivation to become a stripper because it's not okay this is just pure entertainment of my life and we're just gonna laugh at it together. I just wanna make that clear because, you know, that's just not, I don't, I don't, no. Don't, don't become a stripper, period, point blank. Don't become a stripper. Don't get caught up in the fantasy of, you know, what you see on social media these days of strippers, you know, all that money, you just see the money. There's so much more to it than that. That's my piece on that, okay? Uh, yeah. Now that I got that out the way, I got a little deep, didn't I? Like, a motivational speaker feeling. Oh, my God. Maybe it's the cheerleader ponytail I'm giving. Oh, my God. But, okay. I'm still stalling, huh? All right, so. <sighs> Let me get these pictures pulled up, chat. Oh. Let's see what lovely Sambo, mind you, these pictures are from when I was like in my early 20s. I'll be 36 next month, so keep that in mind, okay? Like, I was a little baby, a little baby stripper. Okay, so first picture. Okay. Okay. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of okays because it's, it's a lot to take in. But because when I tell you these pictures take me down memory lane. Woo child. Oh my goodness, I was such a baby. And I remember, I rem oh my God, that money bag. The money bag, man, that money bag made so much, it had carried so much money. And I remember I could not get rid of that little dusty ass money bag. Like it was like my good luck money bag. And it was so dusty and dirty. Like, 
because when you get on stage, often on stage, you know, you throw your little money bag right there on the side of the stage, just dust everywhere. I got, oh my God. Yeah, I had to blur out. Um, I'm in shock, to be honest. I'm in shock. I'm trying to get, you know, commentary. A little baby Sam. So my stripper name uh, in this picture was Desiree, okay? Yes, I went by the name Desiree. This was a strip club in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Yep, mm -hmm. that was my homegirl that I had to blur out. <clears throat> you know, she probably got kids and a family. I don't know where she is these days, but you know. Yeah, look at Desiree. Go on, girl. Little drunk self. Uh-uh, girl. Girl, them look, them look, them look, them look, girl, stop. I was, I was covering up nothing. I didn't have nothing but bones, skin and bones. Okay, y'all, we're going to move on. I'm not going to, I'm not going to harp too long on these, okay? This video was requested, by the way, so I'm giving it, I'm giving it. I'm giving it y'all. Okay. Next stripper picture. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Every photo is like, okay. Um, this was a oof. Okay, let's start with like the this was like a hole in the wall club in like North of the Rock, Arkansas. But I made bank in them up in that I made bank in that club. I usually would make the most money in like little little hole in the wall clubs. Believe it or not, yeah, because I was usually the baddest. <laughs> yeah. So if any of the girls that I used to work with see this, like y'all, y'all remember this? Y'all remember that mirror? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I literally, I was so skinny. I didn't have any breast. Where are my breast? Next, next, y'all. Next, next, and next. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is that was one of my good friend, my my good stripper friends. Yep. Okay. Okay, girl. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is what goes on. These are pictures that are, um, as you see, in like in the locker room, in the dressing room. This is the kind of stuff that went on in the dressing room, apparently. Um, I was about, I don't know, early 20s. I don't, I don't know. Probably like 23, 24, 22, 22, 23. How, I was so skinny. I used to think I was so thick. So skinny. So yeah, booty bumping for pictures in the dressing room. Yeah, real cute. And by this time, my stage name was Abby. I went by Abby. Abby made a lot of money. Abby made a lot of money. I just don't, I, I don't remember being that thin. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. This is, this is a little uncomfortable for me. Don't get through this together, okay? All right. Now, mind you, these are pictures that I had to take of pictures, like tangible pictures. A lot of people now can't even wrap their heads around the fact that I was a dancer, stripper, ever. And even when I was a dancer, I didn't carry myself. Like, I wasn't out in the real world carrying myself like, I'm a stripper, I'm a stripper. You know, it was just like, it was just a job, you know? It was just a job. And so to all the people that, you know, couldn't wrap, can't wrap their heads around, like that I was in that industry, here you go, mm -hmm. here you go. Yeah, she, 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 she was up in, she was up in that thing. She was up in that thing doing something strange for some chat. She was twerking for a birthday. Oh, okay. This is a this is a different club. Okay. 
Look, the date on them says 2008. Wow. Wow. I, dang, I was so skinny. And I remember that girl that I'm hooked up on. She was a good man. That girl could work that pole. That girl could work that pole. Okay, I was Abby right there too. I was Abby right there. Yeah. Okay. I was probably drunk. If I was hugging a naked stripper, I was probably drunk by then. Good and toasted. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Abby. Hey, girl. Let's see what's next. Oh, my God. Okay. I was probably three, four sheets to the wind in this picture, guys. Wow, look how thin my tummy is. Look, I put a cheeseburger for the emoji because it looks like I need to eat a burger or two or three or four. Why, why was I... How? I don't even see how I made money. Like, it had to be my personality because I was way too thin. Like, Girl, look how tiny that tum that stomach is. I wouldn't never even want to be that skinny again ever in my life. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's kind of scary. But also dancing is like the best exercise ever. Next. <laughs> I can't stop looking how thin my little legs and my stomach are. It's crazy. Like, nobody decided to tell me, like, like, nobody told me, like, bitch, you, you look like you're fading away. What, what's going on? Let's see what Abby or Desiree was giving in this next photo. I sometimes can't even believe that I lived this life. Yeah. Okay, so this picture is apparently the same night as the other picture. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, there's me. But it, what I'm looking at is like the background, the dressing room. Like that in itself is taking me back to so many memories. Like all the strippers out there know like the dressing room, you know, that's like, so much goes down in the dressing room. And, uh, yeah, stripper, a, a stripper's dressing room. Like, fights, drunk, drunk strippers. So many memories are flowing through my mind right now when I look at that. That was also at Centerfold in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Yeah. Mm. I remember that mirror. I remember... I, I, yeah, this is really taking me back down memory lane. Okay, so on to me. Um, yeah, that was Abby. That was Abby. That was happy Abby. Yeah. Looking like Michael Jackson. <laughs> Looking like Michael Jackson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I look good right there. I look good in that yellow, though. I'm giving it. I know I made some money that night, honey. I know I, I, I guarantee you I made some money that night. Believe it or not, um, black women and like biracial women are a white man's fetish. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm going to have to do another video on just some of my experiences. That's a whole nother video. I would do well at black clubs and white clubs. But then again, you know, I was a hustler. And anybody that knows me that's watching this knows Abby. Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Why am I like, oh, I just have a bunch of whys for myself. <clears throat> I actually look pretty in, in this one. You know, it's kind of tasteful. I guess I was doing like a little, I don't know, some stripper photo shoot. Yeah. Yeah. 
just peeking around the pole or the podium or whatever the hell that is. Just yeah. Yeah. That I was Desiree. I, I was Desiree in this picture. Mm -hmm. So the the story behind how, how I have two names is I started out when I first started out at 18. I um was Desiree because my one of my older sisters was a dancer <clears throat> as well. And when I started dancing, I just picked up her name because we looked similar at the time. So I picked up her name in case someone saw me. I'd be like, oh no, that was my sister. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, that wasn't me. What? <laughs> but so yeah, that's how I got the name Desiree. Then I went to another club and they already had a Desiree. And I just came up with the name. No, 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 no. I always used to want to name my child if I ever had a child. You know when you're like a teenager, you know, you make up your name, the names you want to name your children. And I always wanted to name my daughter, if I ever had a daughter, Madison Abigail. And I went with Abby. Abigail. Happy Abby. Yep. <clears throat> so that's the story behind these two names. And yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Well, okay. Okay, and here's another uh, dressing room picture of me mooning the world, <laughs> okay? Uh, looking like Michael Jackson again. Uh, this is the dressing room in Hot Springs at Centerfold. Yep, mm-hmm, there she go. There's, that's it. There's Abby again. Mm-hmm, yep, that's her. <laughs> Moving on again, let's just, let's just get this over with, guys. Okay, Ooh, whoa. Okay, this is back at the Hood Club in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, out in Pro Throw Junction. So, it's going to be some people that are watching this that know these places. or probably used to go there. Or, I'm sure y'all, y'all know these places that I'm, you know speaking on the location of uh yeah there i go again pulling my pants pulling my underwear down um there's my locker there's my locker in the back it says i love money <laughs> dollar signs all over it abby i have to put an emoji i have a picture of me on my locker yeah don't be so vain you know yeah. Oh, there's a blur on the side of me because that was another girl's locker. And on her locker, she had pictures of her with like her legs spread eagle. So I had to blur her out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. There she goes again. This is cute. This is cute. Okay. This is cute. This is cute. I like this. Um, Looks so young and vulnerable. That when I, when I look at this, I just see so young and and vulnerable and lost i was so lost yeah i look happy and like smiling but i know that girl i know that 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 yeah i know that lovely sambo yeah yeah but that's cute though like the whole little whatever i had going on there Moving on, can you guys tell this is kind of uncomfortable for me? Because guess what? It is. <laughs> it's taken me back to a place where when you know, you you look at your old pictures and you, you're smiling, but you know what you were feeling and actually going through. So it's taken me back to some, some pretty dark places. So now these are towards my last, this is towards my last, you know, few, few go rounds, you know, you still got that weight on me. Yeah. She had, she had grew up a little bit. Mind you, I was in the game off and on for about 10 years. So that's in Memphis. Yep. That's Abby in Memphis, baby. <laughs> Abby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, Abby got some boobs now. Y'all see that difference? Abby got some boobs. Yeah. She got her weight up. 
Yeah. Now Memphis money, I guess. But I had lived in Memphis for a while here. It's that Memphis food. Yeah. That looks good. That looks good right there. I look good. Abby look good right there. That's a bad, that's a bad bitch. Yeah, Abby. Yeah. Once Abby, like, you know, after like those first few years, you know, she um she got it together, you know. She got it together and was really making money. Yeah. I was traveling. I used to travel, travel everywhere to make money. Yeah. Okay. She was baby girl like good right there though. Baby. All right, let's see what I got next. Okay. This is in Memphis. Ooh, that's a cute. Ooh, that's a cute little booty. Yeah, this is towards the end of, you know, my little go-round of dancing. And I want to say this was after my kid. Like, right after I had my baby. Um, It's like I was, I, I had like that itch. Like, I was itching for like, and strippers know, like, some strippers can relate, like, like after you have a baby or if you hadn't danced in a long time, something you tried to like stop. You know, it's like I had that itch for that that pole and that money, that quick money. So when I after I had my baby, I had you know dabbled a little bit, not a whole lot. Um, so yeah, I think this was after I had my baby, and that was still looking good. Yeah. That's in Memphis at the Purple Diamond, I want to say. Shout out to Miguel and Arthur and all them. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is probably like four, about four years ago. A little under four years ago. My kid just turned four. But yeah, I remember after I had my kid, like, I just remember being like, man, I can't wait to like, And it wasn't so much, yeah, the money, of course, getting back to the money, but the atmosphere, like, if you, if you have, like, a, a club that you can work at, and it's just, like, safe and, like, fun, it's like, I, I had that itch for just that, shit, I had that itch for the money and the pole, and, hey, baby girl. Baby girl got the moves. I'm not just saying that. Like, if anybody out here is watching and you've ever seen me dance, like, you can vouch for me. Like, I, you know, <laughs> baby girl used to, you know, yeah, she used to get, yeah. My, my, my stage presence was top notch. Top notch. Yeah, put on here. Okay, so uh, apparently I just had a photo shoot in the bathroom that night. Uh, this is at the Purple Diamond, also in Memphis. Um, yeah, she looked good. Yeah. Those other ones, you know, was kind of fringy. You know what I'm saying? Because I was like, I could tell just so young and like drunk and stuff, you know. But yeah, I was in a good place right here. I can, yeah. Uh, okay. So... Let's see if I have any more. I don't know if I have any more. Let's see. Okay. So this is also uh, like probably like three months after I had my son at the Purple Diamond. Damn, I thought it looks better then than now. <laughs> then quarantine, but it's okay. She's still fine. Um... I don't know why I had my hair flipped over like that. I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me about that part. But yeah, she was sexy right there. From here, from all these, this is Abby. Yeah, Desiree had retired like back in Arkansas. I had, this is Memphis at the Purple Diamond. Y'all go check it out. Go check it out. I think it's still up and like booming. Yeah. Yeah. That's cute. She's cute. She got a nice tan too. Okay. 
Oh, and let me make this clear. Like, anything that I put on my YouTube channel, I'm aware that I have a child. You know, like, I'm aware that I have a child that may see this one day. But this is a part of my life. This is a part of his mom's life that she can look back at and laugh at, you know. Hell, I might have to school him on, you know, when he gets of age. I might have to school my baby when he is older, a lot older, or old enough to even think about going to a strip club. I might have to school my baby on what to expect when he goes to a strip club. They're not about to be trying to hustle my baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this is just reality. Like, this is this is my reality, you know? It's not gonna, it's not gonna affect him, you know? Just putting that out there because I always keep him in the forefront of anything I do. All right, let's see what's next. Okay, okay. So, okay, I found this. I found this while I was digging. This is a, um, a business card that I had made. Don't ask why I thought being a professional dancer was like a profession. Uh, basically, <laughs> your girl was serious about this whole stripper life. You know, she was serious. Yeah. I remember that phone number and everything. I had a business card passing them out. But, you know, at strip club, well, y'all don't know. At strip clubs, you know, you get caught passing out. Well, back then, you get caught passing out your number or, like, a business card. You know, it's, like, solicitation or, you know, prostitution. But I, baby, I, I slid them cards. I slid them cards on under them drinks. Call me when you come back to this club and let me know so I can come back <laughs> and take your money. Yeah, I was, I was doing too much. But those cards came in handy, believe it or not. Believe it or not, those cards came in handy. Okay, okay, this is the back side of the card. You see how, like, ripped up and, like, yeah, that's not, that's such an old car. I have to put blur, I have to blur out that, uh, that corner because it's my, it's my rear. Coming to a dream near you. <laughs> oh, my God. That was pretty, um, <clears throat> that was pretty, um, I was, you know, marketing myself, if you will. Yeah, that was pretty smart. Like I don't I don't remember any dancers having like business cards like I did. I don't I don't remember ever seeing like they would like write their names down on a piece of tissue or like a, a napkin, piece of paper. But no baby, I was coming through with them cards, the professional cards. Alluring, exotic, sexy. Anyway, well, guys, okay, well, that gave you guys an insight on, um, yeah, my past, my past life. Um, I made it through this video. I made it through. <laughs> Woo! Because then first was, baby, was taking me down through there. They, they were, they were, they were, they were, they was, woof. It was, it's hard to see some of those pictures because, you know, I, I was, I'll admit, like, I was lost, like, starting being a stripper at 18. Like, I'm still a fucking kid, like, but, you know, chasing that, chasing that fast money, you know. Chasing that fast money. That's what I was doing, chasing that fast money. Um, once again, this video is not to condone any young ladies um, that... This lifestyle is um, cool or uh, easy um, because it's not. It's not cool or easy, okay? Did you hear me, baby girl, that's thinking about going to the strip club tonight to make that fast cash? It's not what you think, I promise you, okay? Don't let social media fool you, okay? Okay. And this is, I, I'm an OG. I'm an OG in the game, okay? One of the baddest, I'm telling you. 
If you have any other options or avenues, take those avenues. Don't don't become a dancer. Don't become a stripper. The fast money, the grass is not as green as you think, okay? It's not as green as you think. And um, me choosing that path, it changed my whole life, you know? But here I am. Being able to look back at it and, you know, hopefully prevent some young ladies from going down this path. Um, so, yeah, I'm rambling now. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And make sure you give my video a thumbs up and comment and all that good stuff. And subscribe, okay? Subscribe. And um, I love you all. Bye!